Hi, Rebecca. Welcome to Dickinson's Real Deal. And this 1960s music centre is not on Timmy's wavelength at all. You know, I can talk about a pop. I can talk about a gold ring. I can talk about a picture. But this, I've got no idea whatsoever. Well, Rebecca's selling it on behalf of her son. How much does he want, Rebecca? I'm under strict instructions to sell it for no less than £550. Tune in, because that's what I've got to do. Right. <coughs> what have we got here? We've got some kind of music system, uh, amplifiers. Um, I believe it's quad. Quad, well, but it says quad down here, doesn't it? Mm. I'm not, into, it's completely out of my comfort zone, but, you know, I'm up for a challenge. I want to know how how you acquired this, Rebecca. This came out of an in-law's estate. So when there was cleaning the bungalow out, it was all there and it was all connected up. So, so it probably is working because it was all connected up. And he was an electrical engineer. So obviously this is why he kept this. Absolutely. And he loved his music. I mean, I'm told that apparently it's, it's like the Rolls Royce of radios and amps is that what it is and you know you play your music on it absolutely um, obviously when you we look at it and we think it's quite antiquated isn't it and technology has moved on so much from mm. it so this would have been the 1960s i believe it was around about the 1960s yeah so the company quad was is based in huntington and they made top of the range is still manufactured today so it would have been a very expensive piece of kit in its day mm. you know hundreds of pounds so we think today hundreds of pounds but in the 1960s that was a lot of money wasn't it you yeah. know it was sort of like big money yeah. and probably you know somebody either who was interested in music to do with the music industry or was just have plenty of money would be the type of person who would own this type of kit. Um, I'm going to make you an offer, Rebecca, <laughs> be gentle with me because I think, oh, you know, what is it? Well, I'll do my best. Right. I'll be as gentle as possible. Thank you, Rebecca. You're welcome. So have you got any idea of value? Do you want to help me? <laughs> no, I can't help you. can't help me. No. no. You've got some oh, sorry. Oh, thank you. Right. £50. You like those colours? You like those colours? I do, yeah. So is that a good start then? Oh. The colour's good. The colour's good. Yeah. Right. Yeah, absolutely. What about £100? Is that a no? <laughs> I'm saying no. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right, OK. What about £150? You're not even tepid. You're not even tepid? No. Right. The water's still cold. Cold. Yeah. Really cold. Freezing. Freezing? Right. £200. I can actually talk with my eyes. That's no, isn't it? I knew it, I knew it. Um, what did the experts tell you when you arrived here? Four to six hundred. What, pounds? Absolutely. Four to six hundred? Yes. Blimey, or I'm in wrong business, aren't I? Yeah. Four to six hundred? Mm, but if we go to auction, it would be a reserve of four hundred. Gosh, so he's quite confident then that this will sell at auction. Absolutely. It might go on and on and on and higher and higher and higher. High fidelity. <laughs> and you, you know, how, how long is that piece of string? It's too long for me, Rebecca. <laughs> Do we know that? That is my offer, Rebecca. £200. No. We'll go to auction. We'll go to auction. Thank you for bringing it in. It's really interesting. I'd be really interested to see what it makes. I think it might be all right. Yes, I'm sure. I'm hoping at auction there'll be specialist buyers there and we're going to do really well. Good luck, Rebecca, and uh, I'll tune in to see how much it makes. Well, 
answer me. Let's find out. Auctioneering piece of some breaking news after an unexpected phone call from Rebecca's son. Same number, same number. Shock horror, what's happened with this lot? It had an escort of four to six hundred pounds, which was looking quite positive, and then suddenly we get a phone call out the blue from the vendor, who wants seven hundred pounds uh, for, for, for the lot. Uh, I think that's pushing it too far. Mikey, Rebecca, that's made things a bit more difficult for your son. As for me, because I'm quite apprehensive and I'm here um, on the day, he's at work, um, not really worrying. Someone better tell the Duke the reserve's now 700 quid. 700 quid? 700. So what's happened? What's happened? We decided that... Who's we? My son and his auntie decided that... So, um, your son and, and your... His auntie, his auntie. His auntie, your, your sister-in-law. Sister-in-law. Clever clogs, apparently. Absolutely, they are. <laughs> Top right. Uh, got the heads together and said, oh, we're not having this week. We're not having a, a reserve at uh, 400 quid. We're getting 700 quid. Yeah. What do you think about this? I can't really say on camera, can I? <laughs> <laughs> you get the idea. I can't really say on camera, can no. I? Okay, well, it's coming up now. The question is, is it going to sound? I'm going to say, can pigs fly? But Well, I've seen them fly. Oh, well, I haven't. We're about to find out. I can uh, open this with a commission bid on the book of £500. At £500. I tell you what, it's taken me by surprise, this. I'm talking about can pigs fly. At five fifty, at six hundred, and fifty, at six hundred and fifty, at seven hundred. Do I see? You never know everything about everything, so that's don't get clever. This is what happens when you get clever. Six hundred and fifty. One further bid: six hundred and fifty, seven hundred. Do I see? At six hundred and fifty pounds. Are we all done? At six hundred and fifty pounds. First and last time. That is unsolved. King close. I thought it had no chance, I have to tell you. But apparently there was enough bids to take it up to 650, so it shows you what the Duke knows, not a lot about sound equipment. So on the day, real deal was here in the sale room. Well, at least you know how much it's worth, Rebecca, and it's better than the offer from Tim. Even though it didn't sell at 650, Tim, and your offer was 200, you were still miles off. My message to you, Rebecca, is a no sale does not mean that it's not worth the money. Just persevere. I've been doing it for 30 years.